Vercoloni for Richmond. Spits right back to Vercoloni. Luke, nice travel, going to the end line. And the cross, it's still in play. And a shot, and a goal! Oh, I missed that, I thought it was a goal. Wow, it was a beautiful. bad so far. It's the ball sent into the box. Delacat with the header. That's a goal from Matthew Delacat. What a ball. What an absolute gem of a ball. I believe it was from Guerrez, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's two old school kickers kind of yeah, hooking up together. Say. You got Sasha Guerrez yeah. and you've got Matthew Delacat. They, they're no, certainly no stranger to each other. Sasha Guerrez with a great ball. Probably the best ball I've seen all this season. Right to Matthew Delacat. And any good striker will tell you, head it back to where it came from. Head it to the back post. And that's exactly what he did. Seventh goal of the season for the veteran Matthew Delacott. And Richmond is on top. I got that one right. One, <laughs> one nothing will well, settle. He played it back to uh, Schaffer number 20. Or Schaefer, excuse me. And no offsides. Here's an opportunity. Oh, coming back nicely for Harrisburg. Down early here in City Stadium. And Willis snares that one. Very easy ball. Possession now for uh, Boehner for Harrisburg. Giveaway, here's Asante on the run. Asante, beautiful ball. Spitz couldn't quite get to it, and it rolls to Noble. No call. I didn't think, to be honest with you, I didn't Effort think. Effort in pressuring the ball. Instead, when they win it, they want to go forward, and they want to flood forward. Here's a nice ball off. And just outside the box, now inside the box. Drutton off to McLaughlin, and a shot. Oh, and Willis. Stuff big, that. Big save from Willis. Another play from McLaughlin. I think so. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> so George Davis the fourth. You see the uh, Ronnie Pascal jerseys that are being displayed tonight by the home crowd. Flicked into the middle. Settled. A shot. Nope. And so he called offside. Offside. On that. Yep. That was a close one, I think, though. Yeah. Yeah. Willis with the goal kick. Going to get uh, Ronnie Pascal in here momentarily to talk to us. Here's George Davis the fourth with a shot, and he sent that over the. Uh, Very long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look real quick here. Sasha Gores with a great opportunity uh, on the uh, after the handball, and that ball is flicked over the goal. A couple of quick. Here's Jambi pushing it ahead to Guys. Sasha taking a look and plays it into the box. Just a good thought though. Yeah. There's two again. Two Played players. Wide, two. Burrill. Burrill to Ekra. Slides it to Silva. Beautiful ball to ZZ. And it'll be a corner kick. You can see Sasha's frustration. That was a nice little combination play right there. Like I said. Ball played ahead. Dropped off to Burrill. And here is Hernandez getting a shot on goal, but Willis handles that with ease. Or, excuse me, that was Silva. Hanley turned his back, and that went off his back. Silva now to Ribeiro. Ribeiro's got some opportunity, but he's surrounded. Here's Hernandez with a shot that just scoots wide. <laughs> well, we all had to mention the, I used to play for Harrisburg City Islanders. <laughs> things. There's Davis, and he takes it right into the wall. Remember, he scored on a free kick the last. There's a shot. Oh, Noble with a terrific save on the follow-up. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Great play by Vercoloni. Long header. And that is it. So make it 10. It's a 10-game unbeaten streak now for the uh, Richmond Kickers. They get a valuable three points. Wasn't the most artistic second half for Richmond, but uh, they do come away with a 1-0 victory on Matthew Delacott's first half goal.